It takes a jury less than half a day to find Sharon Carrillo guilty of helping cause the death of her own daughter. Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. Cindy Williams is off tonight. We are interrupting our streaming of the House debate on President Trump's impeachment to bring you our regular newscast. NBC's coverage of the debate and the vote process continues right now on our broadcast channel. But topping our local news, a guilty verdict today in the murder trial of Sharon Carrillo. The jury says she was at least partially responsible for the death of her 10-year-old daughter, Marissa Kennedy. New Center Maine's Don Carrigan covered the jury deliberation today and is at the courthouse in Belfast now with reaction to the verdict. Don? Hi, Pat. This has been a highly emotional trial right from the very beginning. Eight days of very difficult testimony about a very tragic case. Mr. Foreman, what say you? Is Sharon Carrillo, the defendant, guilty or not guilty of depraved indifference murder? Guilty. Sharon Carrillo had shown emotion multiple times during her trial and cried again when the jury foreman announced the guilty verdict. Guilty of helping abuse and ultimately kill her 10-year-old daughter, Marissa Kennedy. Prosecutors said even though Carrillo has low intellectual capacity, she knew right from wrong and knew what she was doing when she and husband Julio Carrillo abused and killed the little girl for months. The jury has brought us to full justice for Marissa by finding Sharon Carrillo guilty of her own daughter's murder. And it's our full intention to seek a life sentence for Sharon Carrillo and she sure did not accept responsibility in this case. But defense lawyers and Sharon Carrillo's family said she was also a victim, abused herself by and under the control of her husband and not to blame for the child's death. We intend to fight at her sentencing hearing for the lowest possible sentence that can be given to her after everything that she's been through. And as soon as that's over, we intend to take an appeal to the Maine Supreme Court. Her father, Joe Kennedy, had the toughest words. I don't think justice was done today. Kennedy and his wife said Sharon Carrillo was also a victim and that prosecutors and the jury didn't recognize that. And they also blamed Maine DHHS for not doing enough. Too many times things were reported to DHHS and the police that they never arrived to investigate or never made any attempt to investigate the reports. But the prosecutor said the trial wasn't about DHHS or even whether Sharon Carrillo had been abused. They said it was about justice for Marissa Kennedy and that both people guilty of her killing have now been convicted. Sentencing for Sharon Carrillo is currently scheduled for February 7th. As for those questions raised about Maine DHHS and how it handled Marissa Kennedy's case, we're not going to get any answers, we are told, until after the sentencing. That's according to DHHS officials. And Pat, there are lots of questions, including many coming from legislators in Augusta. We'll be hearing a lot more about that. For sure. Live well, in Belfast, I'm Don Carrigan for News Center Maine. Pat, back to you. Thank you, Don.